Today I'm going to be talking about Scott Westerfeld's book series, The Uglies. I'd rather be peculiar. Um, I can remember I read The Uglies when I was around 15. I would never shut up about them. I spoke about them continuously. They were very entertaining to me. So the basic premise is it's 200 years in the future and society gives every 16 year old an operation and if they don't get the operation they're considered ugly just for being human. I would give the first book four stars, the second book anywhere between zero and five stars depending on mood and I would give the third book two and a half stars. So you think when you hear this premise of these stories that it's sort of like a dystopian novel, and it is definitely a dystopian novel, but it's different in the sense that a huge, huge, huge part of the bulk that makes up all of the books is the use of hoverboards and detailed explanations of technology, and that's sort of what makes the book enjoyable, and that's what caused me to ponder it and go back reading it. It's weird because when I was reading it, I ended up like really wanting Tali to get this operation, whereas like in real life it's like would be different. But it's weird, like like looking at the world through her eyes. Not that it's an excuse for me, but I kinda like like rooting for her to get this operation in the first one. What I thought was strange about these books was that you think the plot's one thing, and then it's another thing, and then it's another thing. I'm not big on that. I like a simple plot arc, and that can extend to something as vast as, say, Lord of the Rings, where there's about 15 stories going on, um, but it's still got a simple plot, whereas, like, bad evil ring found in peaceful place must take it, destroy it, and mountain. It's, like, simple. I like simple. So I feel like it changes it up a lot, and it sort of goes places that you don't expect. So I was really into these books at one point, but like looking back, I feel like I'm definitely more on the resistance side than I was when I first read them. Because like when I first read them, consciously I knew the whole city was like messed up and wrong. Um, like obviously, like I was rooting for change. Okay, like with any dystopian thing but on the other hand it was like sort of and again interesting almost like because it was so like eerie and weird this whole city's premise i i just enjoyed it and this is a weird discussion because i'm not going through the plot points or things that's happened in it i'm just speaking about what i feel what i remember and what i am emotionally connected to in some way i can remember something that was a recording theme and that was tally jumping off of things in like a moment of bravery. I can remember that was always like a cliffhanger at the end of the chapter. I remember I definitely agreed with Shay as a person more than Tali, but I mean, I like Tali, I think. <laughs> I think I did. But I, I mean, it's funny, like, I thought it would be a lot to say about this series because I was so into it, but like, thinking about it really, what I really just found interesting about this series was the hoverboards, the detail about the hoverboards. I I mean, I didn't, did I like anything about the characters? I thought there were some funny bits, but I can't remember what they even were. I'm going to skip right to specials. That's such a rubbish discussion. I so like, I thought that was really, really fun. And it's weird because even though it's horrible and terrifying, your body being altered like that, I mean, just the idea that um, you're so sort of superhuman and it was really interesting to read. They've got like um, heat vision, like built into their eyes. I thought that was really, um, and again, it was something to think about. Um, <laughs> that's all I've got to say about them books. It's funny because, like, I was so into them, but 